presented by That Wolf from Hyrule Productions. Hello everybody, this is That Wolf from Hyrule. Welcome back to PSI Tuesday, and this is episode 41. And uh, off screen I did a little inventory mixing and uh, item getting. Um, I didn't do anything too drastic. I mean, I got the Diadem of Kings. I did that off screen. I also um, did some inventory management, and uh, things are a little bit shuffled around. I also went and got a couple of large pizzas, so I feel like I'm pretty stocked up on items now. And one thing I forgot to do, I forgot to get the death ray. Or I forgot to sell the death ray is what I meant to say. Alright, no, I think I'm fully ready to do this, so let's do this. Oh, and also, here's a cat. His name is Ollie. He kind of looks like Oliver Hardy. He says he's got a mustache and he's fat. Seriously, he's the cat version of Oliver Hardy. Anyways. You finally got here. This is the seventh your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Oh, I dare. Dare, dare. Okay, I want to say... I remember if this guy has a shield. So, I'm going to super bomb him. Have Paula. This cat's just gonna sit here, isn't he, the whole time? I'll have her do that. I wanna say he has a shield, so I'm gonna shield kill him. And, uh, can you not please right now? Can you see I'm trying to play this game? Oh, good lord, cat. That's what happens when you have a cat and you're trying to record a let's play. Fine, he wins out. Okay, are you done now? Are you done? Are you done? Is it enough attention for you? Enough attention for you? Okay. Okay, he doesn't have a shield. But just in case. Oh, he did have a shield! Okay. Oh crap, that's right. He's electric. Okay. Alright, so let's try... Freeze... Squiggly, because I, I think that's Gamma. Yeah, it's Freeze Gamma, and you know what? Let's do a Star Storm. I mean, it's a boss. Let's do it. Are you really kidding me? This cat, I swear. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know what? Here. PSI Beetle! Okay, really? Seriously? Okay, is this half of this episode gonna be interrupted by this cat? Okay, fine, you're so adorable. I can't help but not pay attention to you. Okay, is that enough? Do you want me to sit? Do you want, you, do you want to sit in my lap? Well, you know, too bad. Okay, seriously? This cat, right now. Right this, right this cat right now. Alright, let's do another freeze gamma. That seemed to work. Uh, I don't want to waste a lot of my heavy multi-bottle rockets. But ooh, no, 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 no. That's a good idea, I think. And of course, since Alex has a lot of awesome attacks, but can't yet quite use his PSI. Whatever. That works. Yeah, he doesn't have enough PSI to or PP to use a lot of his PSI attacks. Why does he have a hungry HP sucker? It's a freaking boss. Okay. That makes no sense. Uh, screw it. Beetle Gamma. I'm gonna kill this, kill this guy. Freeze Omega. I'm sick of messing with him. Multi bottle rocket. Actually, no, just heavy bazooka. And yeah, Star Storm. Die, Electro Spectre! Oh yeah, now he's dead. <laughs> oh god, everyone's going out. Yeah! Became tame! We won! Yes! Oh, good lord, that's levels ups. <laughs> oh, baby! Oh, yes. Yeah. I don't think I even used that multi-bottle rocket. No, I didn't. 
Yay! Now this is an interesting part of the game. Especially what's about to happen. We fall down this hole. And look at this trippy place. So these little dots appear on the side of the wall, right? Isn't that right, Ollie? <laughs> now watch now watch this. Oh, no, not here. Well you go you go a little further and there's this really big wall like right here. Yep, here it comes. And I'll speak in the form of Ness. I'm Elliot. It's been a long road getting here. Oh, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Soon I'll be. Soon I'll be. Soon I'll be. What will happen to us? What? What's happening? <laughs> My thoughts are being written out on the wall. That's because I've I've gotten this part before. <laughs> or are they? <laughs> or are they? <laughs> yeah. It actually does pose a really in, a really intriguing question. What's really going on here? Are those really Elliot's thoughts? Or... Is something else going on? <laughs> Elliot saw a vision of his father holding him. I can't imagine how a telephone would hold a kid. <laughs> no, not really. Not really, that doesn't happen. Anyways, that's the second to last melody. And I need to fall down this hole! Uh... Holy crap, I'm tiny. I think that's us. Yep, it's us. Whew, where am I? Oh, God. Volcano? Earthquake? Where am I? Oh... This is the Lost Underworld. This is... Oh my god, okay. So, go back to a time when you were just learning about dinosaurs. And prehistoric eras. The prehistoric age and everything. Um, yeah, this is basically every kid's... Like, imagining of dinosaurs. Oh, goodbye cat. Cat doesn't like dinosaurs. <laughs> This is honestly how I think I would imagine dinosaurs would probably look at the time. Because when this came out, I was like four. And basically, okay, yeah, we've shrunken down to show the scale of everything around us. Like, that dinosaur is friggin' huge compared to us. Like, and we're, yeah, in, in, ca in case of danger, evacuate here. I think I shall be doing that. Uh, I'm gonna go. Nope, I'm not going that way. Not going that way. By the way, Chompasaurs have freaking shields. They start with power shields. Uh, no, please. These these green guys can give you colds. I'm gonna see what these guys have to say. And you move so slow when you're tiny. Well, it's not the fact that you're tiny. It's not the fact that you're tiny. Everything is huge. Like you're in the last. You're in the lawn, land of the lost. You're like in the center of the earth. Blue springs are great for health, and red springs are for oh healing, healing and drowning out poison. Okay. Ha! <laughs> this, the bird right there says strange words like hello and click beep beep beep, because it's a, it's a phone bird. Elliot, it's your dad. I deposited 14,808 into your account. Take it away or you're spent. You should now have a ridiculous amount of money. XP to get to the next level. Yeah, I'm going to keep going. At least for a little bit. I don't think I feel like giving up for now. So, because I have to sh at least show you some of the dinosaur enemies. Uh, I just got to figure out where I am in relation to everything else. 
Yeah, I guess I, I guess I'm gonna have to beat this guy. Come on. There we go. So this is a wet no sore. Wet wet no sore. Bas basically, he's got a wet nose. So I don't know what their capabilities are yet, but let's blast him with everything. And by that, by that I mean just bazooka. Oh crap! Stomp with its huge foot. It does have a pretty big foot. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably be hearing this music a lot. Come on, please kill it. Yes, there we go. Became tame. <laughs> oh wow. Level ups. Right on. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's in this package here. So I think my goal for here will be to get to the central area. Like the big village. Ooh, brain food launch. Those are useful. Yeah, if I can remember where the f where the main village is, I think it's north. Oh god. There's an eagle orb right freaking there. Uh Yeah. Uh they're I don't really even know what these things are. They're just big giant balls with a face. Well, they're orbs with a face. Yeah, and they could kill you. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna head north. Uh, I think this is the right way. I'm gonna try to go to go in a way where uh, the trees will obscure me a little bit, so I don't get encounters too much. But I'm still just trying to get somewhere. Ooh, gift. Come on, please get it. Ooh, a sea pendant. Okay. Uh, what does everybody have? Rain pendant, flame pendant. He's got a souvenir coin. Yeah, I'm gonna give that to him. Oh, Anton has a knight pendant. Okay. Hang on, can I equip it as other? No. I haven't really needed the knight pendant, because, I mean, what does the knight pendant do anyways? Oh, that's why he's not able to be detected by Flash. Okay, well, it's useful for now, but let's see what this does. Fire, freeze, and flash. I should really give that to Paula, actually. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll give her rain pendant to Elliot. Give that to Phil. I mean, Paula. But, you know what I mean. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't really change much defense for, <laughs> for Elliot. Yeah, I think I'll keep the knight pendant on him. I don't know what I'll do with the other pendant, though. Yeah, I gotta have somebody survive the PSI flash. Because it can randomly wipe out your entire party. Because Flash is just deadly. Sometimes. Like, it's just random. Sometimes it can make you cry. Other times it'll just flat up kill you. And where is this village? Oh, look, another present. Also, I have to mention this music is awesome. Ooh, a Guts capsule. That's neat. Uh, I wonder who doesn't have good enough guts. Uh, he's got 54, 34, 35, 20. Good lord. Alex needs better guts. Better guts. Basically what guts is for is 
for landing critical chan critical hits and everything. And uh, what's going on up here? It looks like there's another fountain. Eruption. Ooh, that's the uh, poison one. A chubby, obnoxious kid from some foreign country said something heartrending, so I'm healing my wounds in the hot springs. Okay. <laughs> Must be talking about Porky. Yeah, ha ha ha. Yeah, Porky's is just a pain in the ass. Okay, let's get into this gate, please. Oh, I'm so go oh, God, please no, 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 no. Anyways. You guys smell really good. <laughs> Who am I? I'm a tender. Hey, what are you doing outside our dinosaur cage? I'm going to open the door and you get out of there right now. I'm the boss, so I will let you out. Thank you for the tender crap. Oh, that's what the tender crap was for. The awful smells are. Oh, oh, that's right, it was sneaky. Go away! Even though I listened to Mysterious Rock's story, I don't understand what he's talking about. I'm trying to do a tender voice, by the way. Why don't you see the talking of Mysterious Rock? That rock really jabbers away. Okay. Thank you for coming all the way to this primitive country. You must be tired to stay. It'll run you $400. Yeah, no thanks. What's this one say? We made for a cage for the dinosaurs and locked them up. That's what my brother tells me. But I don't believe it. He's just spewing out of his cake hole. Cake hole! <laughs> oh my goodness. I forgot how goofy this dialogue is. All day, every day. Let's play store. My friend Ego loves this game. So, hi, how may I help you? Are you looking for anything particular? Yes. Oh. Shiny coin, horn of light. Oh god, yes. Mammoth burger. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Inventory management. Nice. Yeah, I can afford that. Oh, nice. Yeah, why not? I don't really need the luck coin all that much. So... Uh... Yeah, I might as well just... Yeah. I know Elliot can't equip it. I'm authorized to pay. That's funny. Uh, yeah, I need to sell one more thing. Yeah, this death ray. Oh, nice. Alright. Now that I've got that out of the way, oops, hang on. Oop. Still can't do anything right. Hehehe. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything else I can get here? Well, I could use a couple of these. Yeah, definitely use a couple of these. Because these are very invaluable in case somebody gets knocked out or something. I have at least uh, three of them get carried. Yeah, at least have Anton carry one, just in case. Okay. What's this one say? Tender who lacked a talk, or Tender who lacked a talk, came from the lost underworld because we couldn't stand the quiet up above. So we established a separate tribe. I hope we can be friendly again someday. Yeah, it was a lot easier to live up above. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. And let's see what this guy has to say. You're a foreigner, aren't you? I'm a worldwide tender. 
I was an exchange student who traveled to a country that is unknown as an economic superpower. My name is Ego Stick. Ego Stick. Sticky. Ego Sticky. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Oh. Yeah, no. How does it how does he know about money lending? He's a freaking tenda. We are the same tenda as those above ground. We seem different? Yeah, you know, the tenda up there are shy and don't like to talk. Not anymore. Didn't you think that the tenda above has particularly beautiful women? They're still shy though. Not anymore. Okay, time for fate. You finally came, Elliot. Finally, you talk to me. Listen, Elliot. I'm going to tell you something very important. You may want to take notes. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Ready? You're the chosen one. Your destiny is not only yours. It is the destiny of the whole universe. There will be a time in which all of you in the universe will overlap each other. It is not necessary to understand now. Why not? Do you remember Giant Step in Wanette? That is the one of your sanctuary. It is a spot which gives you power and allows you to realize all your skills. There was a monster that protected it. That monster was influenced by the power of the place. You must have beaten those monsters. You must reach all of the eight power spots in the world. When the soundstone records the melodies of all eight power spots, you can finally see your world. I'll tell you all of the power spots. Giant Step in Wanette. Lilliput Steps in Peaceful Rest Valley near Tucson. Milky Well in Grapefruit Falls in Saturn Valley. Rainy Circle found by Anton in Winters. Magnet Hill at the edge of the city in Foreside. Pink Cloud which Alex knows. And Lumine Hole where your shining lichen lives in the cave. A new place is now going to be opened up to you. Fire Spring, located southwest of here. Listen to the melodies of all eight power spots. If you do not fail, you may upset Gygus' plans. Understand, Elliot? Another name drop! The time will come. The time when the destiny of you and the whole universe will overlap. It is fast approaching. Well, that's ominous. Alright, well this is definitely a good spot to cut it and save, and for once actually end. Ring, ring, ring. Elliot, it's your dad. I deposited 745 into your bank account. That's all I got for beating that dinosaur. <laughs> I still have a butt ton of money. I need to record. All done. Your dear old dad was thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I've created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night, sleep tight. Yeah, I haven't done this in a while. We're a great team, aren't we? Well, you should turn the power off instead of just pressing reset. Alright? Yeah, I agree. Alrighty, I've been That Wolf from Hyrule, and this has been PSI Tuesday, episode 41. I cannot believe I broke out of the 40s. Into the 40s, I should say. Whew, wow, it's been a long time coming, and I'm finally tackling the 8th Sanctuary location right after this. God, two and a half years in the making for this friggin' Let's Play. Well, hopefully I'll be done by, I don't know, maybe March or April this year? Anyways, so this is the first video of 2018, or I should say the second video of 2018 because the last one was just yesterday. Alrighty, so Happy New Year everybody if haven't said it, and I've been That Wolf from Hyrule, so I'm gonna see you next time. Where is that? Oh, there it is. Ha! Ah. Oh, hey! <laughs> Thanks for watching my video. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. There'll be a link right here. 
And if you want to see the last video I did, it'll be over here. And if you want to see last week's PSI Let's Play, it'll be right over here. Thank you guys so much. I enjoy all the support from you guys. And I do this all for fun. So if there's no really incentive for me to do it, I just like to do it. Alright, <laughs> I'll be seeing you guys next time.